Okay. July this year was the second warmest July on record. It was slightly below the record warm July of 2023. So July marks the end of a, a streak of 13 consecutive months with global monthly record. Even if we are slightly below what, what we were a year ago, the, the global temperature is, is still at near record levels. So the, the global picture is not that much different from where we were um, a, a year ago. The global sea surface temperature has been at record or near record levels. But what we have seen over the past year is very high sea surface temperature or much above average sea surface temperature outside of the equatorial Pacific. So outside of the typical and new regions. What we have seen over the past year has acted as a stark warning that the climate is rapidly warming and that I think it's important to speed up actions to reduce emissions and reach uh, net zero as soon as possible. The consequences of climate change have been seen for many years. They started before June 2023 and they won't end because this streak of records is ending. There were heat waves and extreme climate events before that streaks of, of record and they will continue as long as the climate continues to warm and as long as we keep adding more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere.